My mother's here. Thanksgiving. See the game? The game. Mm -hmm. What a goal line stand. Game o' inches. Took the extra base. <laughs> From inside the paint. And deep inside the red zone. Way past the blue line. Got in his kitchen, climbed the ladder. And that icing. Oh, oh. Rookie of the year. Con Smythe trophy. 50, 60, 70 Fish. yard line. Whoa! A four bagger. And a great slap shot. Hey, but he was pushed out of bounds. Back, 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 back. Offside! Oh, oh, Damn, what a game. Whoa! Speedball? Ah. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. No way in hell. He was way over the blue line, and he left a 7-10 split standing. God, how I love Australian rules football. Ah, the uh, Mads are calling him just when he got a takedown. Takedown, takedown, take two, two points. Ah, you're here. Uh, listen, I need you to snap to uh, my mom's here, and I promised to take over the world before pie is served. So uh, help me out, and I won't destroy you. Well, we'll think about it. <laughs> hey, looks like you got a regular Playboy After Dark shindig going on there. No. Yes, it's uh, Frank. He invited him last April. Even in the afterlife, he mocks me. So what is this, Star Trek Voyager or something? Oh, no, no, Mother. This is my experiment. Remember where I Arch, shot a... Is that you? Why, Pearl, how good to see you. Oh, Art, you rogue. It has been so long. <laughs> Ah, you're looking radiant, Pearl. Ten years younger since the scars were sanded off. Oh, you charmer, you. So, you work with my spawn. Yep, pretty much run the place. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, uh, these are the guys that work for me. Well, this makes me feel a little bit better about this whole experiment thing. So, now what, Clayton? I suppose you have to push some buttons or take some urine samples. Uh, yes, Mother. Now the experiment begins. Uh, now, uh, Frank brings me a fresh movie to spool up. It, oh, God. You don't have a movie, do you? Uh, well, uh, uh, no. Oh, I thought this might happen. Mother? <sighs> oh, here. This is one of my favorites. It's called Night of the Blood Beast, and you'll just hate it. It stinks. Reminds me of Clayton's father. <laughs> oh, and there's a short subject, too. It's about telephones or some damn thing. It sucks on toast. Excuse me, uh, Dr. F, uh, ma'am. I just uh, went in the tabbouleh. You may want to take it off the buffet. Well, it looked just like fresh step. Oh, oh, yes. yeah. Well, oh, 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 Jackson and Lisa Marie had sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was known as something of a chick handler myself. <laughs> Ooh, pretty crowded honeymoon, huh? <laughs> oh, it's springtime for 
Hitler in Germany. Oh, he directs the best honeymoons. Lucy, I'm dead! Once upon a time, or maybe it should be twice upon a time, because this story begins where most stories end, there was a bit of excitement up on cloud seven. On this particular morning, the head angel had called a conference to talk about Jeff and Mary, and their guardian angel, Wilbur, was late. Where is Wilbur? Wilbur! I sent every cherub in the place out to look for him. Hi, you fellas. Let's get this show on the road. It's already on the road. I'm sorry, Chief. We got so many new clients, we'll have to open a new branch office. These clients are your immediate concern, if you want to keep your license. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Chief. Poor Buck Henry. Marriages are made in heaven. But there's follow-up work, too. You want I should show her a good time? Jeff and Mary have been married for a year, and they haven't had a real honeymoon yet. But when, when everything's under when, control, when. they're starting on their honeymoon today. That's what they think, too. But they're going to find out differently. <laughs> unless you get down there right away and take care of things. I want them eliminated. Something's come up. Something is coming up in exactly 30 seconds. <laughs> now get going. Yes, sir, Chief. Geronimo! Just go, you big poof. Oh, Wilbur! Dear God, I hate theater people. Sir, should we get on to wars or starvation or anything? Or... No, Mrs. Muir! Oh, I love it when I get a call in my pants. Just answer my hair dryer here. Wilbur, make yourself invisible. Hmm? Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> He's trying to have a Montclair moment. <laughs> Hey, now they'll get immaculate reception. <laughs> sorry. Uh, you know, I had an angel rotten in my chimney once. Yeah. Sad. I'm sorry, Chief, but I've got to get organized. Besides, no one can see me up here. Yes, sir. There he is, officer. Right, I'm down off the roof. Uh-huh, look, there's a frisbee in the gutter. <laughs> No angel dust. It's a rattlesnake. <gasps> they live in a dollhouse. No, they should fire Grandma as their decorator. I'm leaving you. Oh, I thought I was leaving you. You got everything? Everything. Including you. Oh, so hot. Well, let's go then. Uh, it's the Pope about the one sexual position. <laughs> They're on to us. Hello. Jeff, this is Gordon. Oh, hello, Gordon. And goodbye, Gordon. Mary and I are just leaving. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Uh, something's come up. Gordon. It can't come up. When I finished the score for the show, you said I could take Mary on our honeymoon. We waited a year now, and we're going. Now, hold on, Jeff. It's Sonia. Her wishing number. The words are okay, but she doesn't care much about the music. If we don't have a new tune by tomorrow morning, she's not going to sign for the show. <laughs> Look, Gordon, rehearsals don't start for four weeks yet, and... I haven't had it in years. We're on our honeymoon. Mm. Now, listen, Jeff. E.G. Marshall if is here. If you don't come up with that new music, there won't be any show and there won't be any honeymoon. Now, you can write a new melody in 24 hours. It's no problem at all. You must have at least a dozen old tunes lying around. Aye, 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 aye. The wishing song? I don't want to have sex. No problem at all. And me completely out of blow. Excuse me while I light my spleef. Yeah, what would Liberace do? Oh, I better not do that. One of 32 short films about this guy. Ah, uh, let's see. What rhymes with blue balls? Wait a minute. I work for Otis Elevators. I don't write music. Oh, Mickey Rourke came over to help. No inspiration, darling? I couldn't write The Farmer and the Dilded. Why would you want to write him? A temperamental ballerina. Take I like it to... easy. So it's way past dinner time and you haven't eaten lunch yet. Well, I had three packs. I'm not hungry. I'll fix some coffee. I'll give this to the man in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Oh, another one of your scores has fallen apart. Yes? Hello, Mary? What are you wearing? Yes, Sonia. You tell Jeffrey, the dear boy, that I love his words. But I want more wishing in the wishing song. 
You're absolutely right. He couldn't agree with you more. He's working on it right now. It's almost finished. So shut up. <laughs> Bye. Copper bottom bitch. Another sandwich, dear? I pull hard enough, I can snap my head off. I wish I had a castle in the sky. Oh, wish in one hand and crap in the other and see which piles up first. Away up high where bluebirds like to fly. I wish I could have sex with Louis Nye. A cozy little castle with a hundred rooms or more. I wouldn't have to dress like Tipper Gore. With stars for windows, clouds for rugs, a <laughs> rainbow for a door. I wish... Honey, I'm trying to compose in here. If you could keep it down... I just wish I had a decent kitchen. Huh. Angels work about as hard as road crews. A <laughs> little pecorino. <laughs> Poppies. I wish. Mm -hmm. I wish the faucet wouldn't drip all day. Aim high, sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish hardware Hank hadn't done my kitchen. That refrigerator door would close and stay closed. Oh, sure. Everyone dump on the refrigerator. Fine. I'll close. Miss Betty Ferdes in the new Westinghouse. I wish I had a stove whose pilot light was yeah. always lit. Well, don't look for it now. It's only available in the year 2000. <laughs> more. A kitchen phone at hand when friends call up to chat a bit. <laughs> Hello, yes, this is Mary. How are you? Bye. Oh, no, oh, no, hey, your kitchen dazzles every eye. A brand new sink, a built-in oven, Mary, this is a new refrigerator, and a the house. It's a terrible accident. Oh, it's a house. Right red phone. I can't open it. Go, there's blood and everything. The nuclear reactor exploded. I'll call you later. It's all part of my kitchen fantasy. No, no. Have some bear gall juice, honey. I wish my living room were all redone. I think owning a newspaper would be fun. New drapes, new rugs, oh, this is fun. My God, honey, what have you done to our lives? It's nice to have a telephone to blend with my new drapes and rugs. A living room that's all, all, all. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> You can't stop smiling on hell. Uh, Bobby and Sissy, aren't they wonderful? Um, uh, this might actually be sex right here. Okay, uh, where, where can I put you, honey? There. I wrote this one for Scott Thorson. Just meanwhile, soldiers are dying in the mud in North Korea. Yeah, who cares? That's her come with her look. The bedroom should be changed completely too. Yeah, hang a parachute, put up the beer can collection. Perhaps a color scheme of gold and blue. That's about as sexy as a garage. New furniture and lots of room for all my clothes. On second Ooh. thought, I might try Dusty Rose. One bed's for them, the other one's for little grandma. Jeff and I were going to get the racing car beds, but we decided on these. A lady likes to have a chance to change <laughs> her mind. Ooh. No, 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 none of that. Like a yellow room with turquoise and white. And maybe a telephone <laughs> that lights up at night. I wish mm -hmm. I may. I wish I might. Might. <laughs> Ah, sort of a westerny, <laughs> ginghamy, oriental, Danish, modern-esque prairie school sort of thing, huh? Pills, 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 pills. Where are the pills? <laughs> we gotta get out of here. I smell gas! Hello? Hello? They hung up. 
Here's how far I've gotten. La. Probably Gordon sitting there like a vulture. Call him back. Yeah. Maybe I'll have him in a day or two, but not tonight. I haven't got one idea left to rub against tonight. Don't say rub or grind or moist or hurt or gristle. His line's busy. Well, try it again. If he and Sonia can't wait, I don't care what they do. Just get away from me. Uh, honey, is that a gay man on a Johnson's roof? Should we get a gay man for our roof, honey? Why don't we call him later? No. No. All right. Yeah, I'm your damn secretary, fine. Honey, your cocaine is all over the phone. Wait a minute, do that again. Yeah, okay, now rustle your skirt. Now flap your arms and run the vacuum. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I'll call someone to write this yeah. song. Again, do it again. Everybody was kung fu fighting. It yeah. works. Sure, for a tuneless sort of thing. Don't worry about my carpal tunnel syndrome or anything. Boy, you can be trained. Really love your peaches, wanna shake your tree. Oh, damn, you ruined it again. Hello? Oh, hello, Gordon. I've been trying to get Jeff. Sonia's here. How's it coming? Wonderful. You wanna hear something? You bet. I'll turn on the speakerphone. I want Sonia to hear it. Fine, listen to this. I wish I had a castle in the sky. Oh, where the bluebirds fly, a castle with the sky. Oh, crap, we're opening tomorrow, too. Uh, Jeff, we're having some trouble hearing. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to get the microphone working, Jeff. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I'm trying playing the song until the microphone. Hey, I'll get in there. How the hell is this thing? Uh, 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 I mean, yep, yep. I mean, aren't the song from the beginning? We can't. I, I, the microphone. Airwolf, can't. Hey, hey, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Welcome to Shakey's. <gasps> Elton John was here. This would be a good companion film with a racer head. I love it. Such rhythm, such spirit, such departure. That's it, kids. Bring it in, Jeff, and go on your honeymoon. Walter Cronkite approves. Jackets? Condoms? Lingerie for me and you? Let's go to your mother's. The baby will lock up. Okay, Jeff, we're all set on this end. Go right ahead. Ah, the monks of St. Gregory work on their next big chart-busting hit. <laughs> I'll just order the hit. <laughs> Chief, this is Wilbur. Mission accomplished. I'll be right up. Right. <laughs> now I can do the decorating. Oh, I'll see what Tad and Bryce are up to. <laughs> I'm losing his pattern, Captain. The following scene contains graphic sexual content. <laughs> Wait a minute. What the hell what? is that about, anyway? Is it... Oh, hi. Hey, what do you guys want with turkey? Stuffing or potatoes? Mm. Stuffing or potatoes, Mike? Yeah. Well, funny you should ask, as my colleague Dr. Tom Servo and I are now prepared to publish our findings on the entire stuffing versus potato controversy. Excuse me, uh, Mike, we'll need this space. Cambot lights? Stuffing versus potatoes. 
Stuffing, a complex mixture of grains, vegetables, and fiber. The potato, nature's bouncing Betty. Stuffing, the combination of the four earth elements, fire, water, sky, and crumbs. The potato, silent enemy of the colon. January 8th, 1994, stuffing pulls child from burning building. New York City, potatoes watch helplessly as man is beaten to death. Now let's turn to our scientific findings. The skin, or jacket, of the potato is incredibly poisonous and will kill in an instant. Centrifuge tests prove that stuffing is a better vehicle for gravy. Potato, Norwegian rat of the vegetable kingdom, spreading typhus and gonorrhea as it jumps from ship to ship in the world's busiest port cities. And now, Mike, a short film. Stuffing, Balm and Gilead versus Potato, Eight-Eyed Hydra, Destroyer of Worlds. Give me liberty or give me death, but with dinner, I'll have stuffing. This is my stuffing. Eat me. <clears throat> Thank you. And that's all. Oh, that's it? Yep. Oh, ah, yeah. Okay. Much. <laughs> well, I... I guess I know your decision then, huh? Absolutely. Because, you, uh, you know, I was going to have both. Is it? Both is great. Both is good. I have both. I love like both. Then you can, you can take and mush, mush them up. Yeah. Yeah. Mush mush the whole thing. Don't. What's his deal? <laughs> Night mother. Uh, moose. Stalker. Uh, of the iguana. Uh, sausage. Blood sausage. Oh, well. <laughs> Music by Ray Manzarek. Scott McCloud, Space Angel. All right, you uh, lost your trailer. Oh, never mind. Hey, Ed Nelson of Ed Nelson Plumbing and Heating. Free hot dogs for the kids. From a sentence by Gene Corman. NASA simulation. Oh, yeah. uh, 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 help! The conductor's having a seizure. <laughs> Dick Courier, when Dick absolutely positively has to be there overnight. <laughs> Isn't this the Polyphepsian dance number two by Borodin? Yeah. That's why it stinks. This has been thoroughly Cormanized. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know that much about space, but it seems like they're just wandering around. Ah, and it's a Gene Corman signature movie. Uh, there's going to be some turbulence, seeing as we have one wing. From the sun and fun capital of the world. And now our story. This is X-100 to Goldenrod. Hmm? X-100 to Goldenrod. Do you read me? Over. When I fly the real one, I'll have more stuff. Normal descent on instruments. Normal descent on instruments. This thing won't boot up. Altitude 90,000 feet. Approaching critical velocity. And I have a bulbous growth in my nose. Something's wrong. I'm falling too fast. So I'll just pull everything. Hold it, Lord, I'm in trouble. The jets don't break my speed. Okay, I'm switching to blend. I'm releasing the drag chute. If it returns, I'll have it forever. If it doesn't, then it was never mind to be in with. Pounds heavier. I'm being severely backlit. There's no drag, and I'm getting too close to the Earth. I'm afraid of intimacy. Oh, I knew I was lactose intolerant, but... Oh, oh Pete, my pizza! Oh. There's nothing more I can do now. Estimate Party it, take. Guess. Woo! Ten miles northeast, your location. In case recorder's damage, get this. Ah! Velocity 6,700 miles. <coughs> Weight ratio, 187. Thrust, 220 tons. Pants, totally filled. It starts. Sorry. Rut Patrol, in color. Boy, Houston doesn't waste much time. Got a guy in a Jeep right out there. Someone's burning leaves, and NASA is there. Some lands and ad. Available in Loden, Camel, Stone, Pant, and Twerp. Mark Trail. With Gore-Tex. I told you, no hot plates. <coughs> yeah, I couldn't get the jaws of life, so I brought Cindy. She's really strong. NASA's highly sophisticated firefighting techniques. Anyone in here need off? Cindy, clear the shot. <clears throat> Did I hit the ocean? Uh, no, it's Spooner, Wisconsin, Gary. Hi, I'm Bill Proxmire. I'm running for Senate. <laughs> His pops build. Uh, he's a mess. You got a moist towel that? Hmm? Should have sent up a dog first. <laughs> 
I'll uh, have a sandwich. That's okay. I'll tell the others. Am I a other? Excuse me, could you move your entrails aside? Vanna Bork White on the scene. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Um, am I having a feeling? Do, do I need a perm? Our space program ain't so good. Yeah, hey, Breaker One Niner for the big booty. We got a spam in the can, and we'll catch you on the big bounce round. Over. Goldenrod Baker to Goldenrod Abel. Well, he's not that alive anymore. Over. Goldenrod Baker to Goldenrod Abel. The rest of NASA rushes to the scene. Goldenrod Baker to Goldenrod Abel. Goldenrod Baker to Goldenrod Abel. Uh, hold on, we're switching all power to the radio. If it's Gary, I'm not here. Did you find it? Came down about three miles east of Walker's Pass. Hmm. Area 116 or 117 on your map. Mm-hmm. How bad is he? You ever see Stroganoff? Bought it all the way. You're certain? No respiration, no heartbeat, no pulse. Came down pretty hard. The rocket unit's still in one piece and oh, most of the control thank God. Section. Everything else is scattered around for about half a mile. Including Bob. Tell Donna to cover the entire area. Canaveral will want all the visual data we can give them. Oh, and uh, don't move anything till we get there. Go and Rod Baker out. Look, a frog! <laughs> Terribly sorry, Julie. But you're going to have to scooch over. I can understand how you feel. I lost a husband once. But we can't let it interfere with the work we have to do. You both knew it was a calculated risk. So, Arby's, everyone? I'll be all right, Doctor. Oh, I'm fine, too. Don't even ask. Let's get going. This is back when NASA was family-owned and operated. Before this decade is out, we will put a man in a pickup truck and bring him safely to Mendocino County. It's great how they can run the space program and then sell corn from their flatbed truck. <laughs> Dave? What should I do with my gum? My position of the smart. Don't play, honey. No. Dr. Wyman wants you to get full coverage on the entire area. I don't want to take a dumb picture. This was your first project under Dr. Wyman, wasn't it? Oh, I've been under him before. <laughs> yeah. I helped design the jettison unit that didn't work. Then remember that other thing that didn't work? On a project like this, there's always a margin for error. You expect it. Especially when it's you working on it. And when it comes, you're fine. You really didn't expect it after all. Who knew we needed fuel? You think Julie expected it? With his engagement ring on her finger? I'm not sure what I meant by that. John Cocorn was the first man to be sent up in a satellite and ejected back to Earth. Only he was supposed to come back alive. Stupid jerk. Check the rest of it. Look, Dave. Hmm? Look, don't blame yourself. The answer lies in this wreckage. Let's recheck the crash pattern. No, let's just go. <laughs> huh? no, 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 Steve, not now. <laughs> hey, the rug is escaping. Well, this is like Night of the Ground Squirrel. Patrick Stewart fell in the quicksand. And action. <laughs> Hi, NASA. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hey, that's funny. What's that? This rip was smaller when we first got here. Would the stress of settling into the ground have widened? Um, yes. How could that be? The entire hull is made of magnetic alloy. <laughs> I'd like to examine the body before we bring it out. I'll need to be All nude. Right. Watch you don't cut yourself, Doctor. Be very careful with my hat. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little Quonset Hut spaceship he's got. Honey, your mother's worried. Why aren't you getting up for school? Okay, let's see. Righty tighty, lefty Lucy. Did he have a skull when we sent him up? Well, at least they can strip him for parts. Dr. Benson, come here quickly. Bring my bag. Dad never asked me for his bag at home. <laughs> oh, man, she's getting it. <sighs> Thanks, I uh, need my tennis shoes. 
boy, this is cool. This is just like alien autopsy. Oh, yeah, man. It's cool. I want you to see this. Look how dead he is. <laughs> yeah, it's probably an outpatient thing. How long would you say he's been dead? Oh, let's see. Uh, ever since I've known him? It's been at least three hours since the crash. Over three hours, no sign of body rigidity. Well, that's nothing new. No skin discoloration. Temperature feels normal. Well, let's give him more time to die. No dilation whatsoever. Huh. The cause of death must be due to an internal rupture. He should have worn a cup. I've never seen an internally damaged body with no sign of rigor mortis after so long. And I love it. Let's get him back to the lab so we can continue the examination. Is your freezer empty? There's a layer of fudge on this capsule. It's a girl. Look at this. Mealworms. I could raise these and make good money at home. Help Dr. Wyman. He wants to take John back to the lab. Sphagnum peat moss. Dave? That's really gross. Get a blanket. <laughs> It all started at a 500-watt radio station in Fresno, California. <laughs> Please, no terrorists. This area, restricted area. Trespassers are shot on sight by order of the government. NASA's fruit truck makes a delivery. I have to question whether this is really a government operation. Well, we had to snap him in two like a frozen dog to get him out of the space capsule, but I think... Wow. How's this work? Hello, Everglade. Hello, Everglade. This is Goldenrod. This is Goldenrod. How do you receive, Or I'm putting a burrito in the microwave. You guys want anything? That's not the question. Are we transmitting? They don't receive anything from us. They won't try and reach us until the frequency check at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Hmm, what should I wear to a funeral? Hmm. Anyone wants sandwiches? I'm heading into town. Huh, it's a little low on air. <laughs> By all medical standards, this man is dead. So, just like before then. No heartbeat, no respiration. Never seen a man so dead. And his tissues refuse to dissipate. Well, I'm going to make them. Is it possible he could be in a... What well, kind of catatonic state? Could he still be alive? No. Perhaps Get out. Form of hypometabolism. Well, it's impossible. Maybe he's dead. It's hard to stop. There's no circulation. <sighs> you know as well as I do that when this process stops, the brain starts to deteriorate almost at once. Within a matter of three minutes, it dies. It's mm -hmm. like he's dead or something. Hello, Everglade. Hello, Everglade. This is Goldenrod. This is Goldenrod. How do you receive? Over. I'm a photographer. <laughs> Maybe after this long a radio silence, we'll switch over to an emergency channel. I mean, that's what I do. Tried that. How about the Air Force? Well, maybe they're home. <laughs> Hello, Air Force Emergency. This is Special CQD Goldenrod Station. Mm -hmm. How do you receive? Over. Air Force is so stuck up. <laughs> I mean, he's all called up here. Yeah. I couldn't receive the spot weather report on this. So yeah, but are you sure it's not your set? Well, I've already checked everything. Will you go out and ask Steve to come in here a minute? Please? Okay. Steve! I could have done that. Hello, Everglade. Hello, Everglade. This is Goldenrod. This is Goldenrod. Do you receive? Over. Well, he's still dead. Nothing, Doctor. Hello, Hanson. Doctor. He's got senior Wences disease. Hey, look, jelly comes out. What is it? <laughs> it's not a lesion. More like something had been forced through the tissue. Than <laughs> um, have you guys seen my brush? Steve. Yes? 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 The radio still won't work. Dave wants to see you. Okay. I bet they're going nuts at the Cape. Yeah, they're partiers. <laughs> I hear you working, Steve. We're going to need assistance. I'll keep fiddling with the corpse. <laughs> Look at that. Um, I found a chiclet. Hey, she walked up twice. <laughs> Hi, have you been helped? Hey, come here and help me shake the candy machine. What's the trouble? I can't transmit across the room with this thing. Mm. Gold star, huh? 
sounds like a magnetic disturbance. Yeah. Could be the power lines fouled up outside. What's happening in there? A oh, big spring dance. I don't know. Somehow we've got to get through to the Cape. Five hours overdue now. I bet half the brass in the state of Florida is up in arms. I hope not. If enough people find out about this, we'll have everybody up here. <laughs> I'll check the tower. You stay here and keep trying to get through, will you? Yeah. All right, taking you up to news time with the chucker. Anything, give a yell, eh? Sure. Right. Ram it, clown. He's getting deader. Mm -hmm. Blood pressure, 120 over 80. Normal for a living man. That's impossible, doctor. You must have made a mistake. The doctor, I checked it twice. But you're a girl doctor, doctor. Well, this man does have normal pressure. It's as if he's dead. That's impossible. It's inconceivable. Take a blood sample. I'll make a radiation count. <laughs> Ladder that same evening. Don't. <laughs> Will you do what it? I will do it. Mr. Fawlty! She's so crazy! She hit me. Blood beast? Mm. Okay. There. I fixed it. <laughs> there you guys. Ladder's loose again. Golden Rod's Everglade. Golden Rod's Everglade. Come in, Everglade. Over. Restricted changing area. I want to find our picnic stuff. Golden Rod to Everglade. Come in, Everglade. This is an emergency. You see? Everglade, you dickweeds. This is a stupid space program. I'm going to go work for my uncle's space program. outhouse is connected to the main breaker at NASA. <laughs> now you stay in there, Mr. Power. Very interesting. Steve? Not everybody is Steve. Steve, Steve, cut it out. Da 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 pew 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 da da <laughs> And the Steves are there. Steve 1, you go that way. Steve 2, come with me. This has Steve written all over it. Uh-oh, undercupping. <laughs> Something big at me. It was big like a bear. Was it a bear? Came out of the darkness and was heading for the lamp. I know I put a couple of shots in it before I went down. Wounded animal that large isn't good. <laughs> How well are we armed? Well, besides his pistols, we've got a couple of rifles. I think it headed toward the back of the building. Dave. Who's Dave? Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, yeah, it just clipped me. Steve? <laughs> Come on, we're late for biology. I'll get the costumes. You guys be the Yankees and we'll be the Nazis. <laughs> Oh, neat. Did you get this at Pier 1? Yeah, that in the 10K really lights up the place. Steve? Steve? Shh, don't wake up Dad. He's in a really bad mood. At the window. Down to get the other ladders. Let's talk fast for the rest of the movie. Did it get to him? No. What do you think it was? Well, this didn't come off any bear. Bring the light over here, will you? Oh, that's mine. My back has been flaking off like crazy. <laughs> no fur, no blood. No disco, no fooling around. Very much like leather. Can I go home? Is the power out completely? No, just partly. Of course it's out completely. Yes, it is. You have any idea what caused it? Could be a break in the cable of the dam or a just short circuit in one of the transformers. Squirrel. Dave, are you sure the building was thoroughly checked? Are the wiring and the fuse is all right? I went over everything thoroughly. I checked everything. Hmm. I, I'll check again. Maybe they shouldn't have launched a rocket while the dryer was running. Yeah. Nothing's wrong here. Like I said, it's probably the disturbance up at the dam. Well, Steve needs some help boarding the window. Get Steve on it. There, right. all set in case the birds attack us. Well, at least we won't freeze. Unless it gets really cold. <laughs> a place like this would be equipped with heating. Until a few months ago, this was a radar monitoring station. Before that, it was a car wash. The ultra-sensitive <laughs> instruments respond better to the cooler atmosphere. 
Systolic was 140. So we'll just lay off. I'll have a blood sample for you in a few minutes. Make it two. I think it'll take an hour to realize we're incommunicado and send aid. Well, the security operation is tight as this, maybe another 12 hours. Mm. That could mean we could be here another day. Ouch. Everything's so little. Oh, tiny fried eggs. <laughs> Who ordered their sunny side up? Doctor! Doctor! Oh, wait. Never mind. I've never seen anything quite like it. I've never seen a saltine up close. <laughs> Notice the way it's fighting the others. <laughs> My God, I'm pregnant. So I'm closing this mouth, okay? And we're thinking about a mouth, so I'm going to play with it a little before it dies. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Oh, God, I hate cats. Hi, Pearl. Oh, Art, you are the only sane one. Do you ever just look at somebody and wonder who the hell they are and what the hell they're doing there? It's a screwy world, eh, Pearl? Art, you don't know the half of it. That guy right there, that one-time zygote that manifested itself into the something I call my son. Oh, Art, what happened? Kill him. That's what I do. <laughs> Thanks, Art. You're sweet to listen. You know, you and I ought to get together more often. Sure. Anytime you want me to come down there, you just press that one button. Gee, Art, I'd like to. But, you know, my clay has his heart set on ruling the world. And a mother has got to support her son no matter what a loser he is. But you know what, Art? He's my loser. Okay, everyone. Shh. Quiet now. Quiet. <laughs> now, I know you all know <laughs> this man, but I just wanted you to get reacquainted as I have with this beautiful person, sir. I love you. Say hi, Mr. B. Say hi. hi. Say hi. Say hi. Come hi. on. Hi. Later, hi. <laughs> I love you, sir. Mm. Oh. Anytime you want to talk, girlfriend. Oh, oh, oh no, I got movie sign. Uh, uh, oh, movie sign. <laughs> Steve, you can still lead a full and productive life. Just reminded of when my turtle died, that's all. What I'm about to say might sound strange, but I think we should eat this corpse. <laughs> One of us will have to drive to the nearest telephone and call a cape. Hmm. Every minute counts. What is it? There is a cartoon in the microscope. I've seen amoebic dominance of a cell structure before, but this is completely out of proportion. Well, what are they? What do they mean? Well, normal blood has two basic cells. Duh. The red carry oxygen and the white fight infection. Yo. But this blood has three. Mm. The third cell, that big one. Remember that one, oh. the big one? He had the hair. That's completely foreign to any blood structure. God, I'm in a funk. <laughs> if that bacterioid is contagious, then we've all been exposed. Bacterioid? I doubt if it's communicable. We'd better get to the nearest town fast. Okay, bye. I imagine that'll be Desert City. But that's over 30 miles. Isn't there anything closer? There's got to be a pizza hut nearby. There's nothing <laughs> on the map. Steve? I'm going to kill myself. Call the cape from Desert City. Get in touch with uh, Dr. Zimmerman. Don't go into detail. Just tell him to get here as quickly as he can. Now, what about equipment? Yeah, I get some of that too, I suppose. Oh, well, we need a new power <laughs> supply, a refrigerated mm. truck, or an ambulance to transport the body. Mm. Oh, and uh, get yourself something nice. Tell him to request priority clearance directly to Walter Reed Hospital in Washington. Right. I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, and uh, snag some brews, and a couple sandwiches, and a thing of wax worms. Keep checking the blood pressure, Doctor. The last count was 140 over 80. What a selfish thing to say. Well, that's all we can do with the present. <laughs> I'm going to go walk in front of a bus. What's the point of all of this? Where those little guys go? Wow. Did you turn the light off in the hall? Oh, so like a blood beast can dismantle a distributor cap? Time to dance, blood beast. I bet it's those nuns from The Sound of Music. Steve? Steve? Any luck with the Jeep? I can't figure it out. 
Carlson, both the truck and the Jeep are burnt out. That's the most insulting thing you've ever said to me. Hmm. I suppose I should apologize. Ow! Oh, oh. Anyway, thanks for listening. Look, we missed the first half of Friends. They're both stopped. Everything's going wrong in this movie. He's an odd little man. I just developed a picture, everyone. Um, if you're looking for that one thing, Barb moved it. <laughs> Steve, Steve and I have something to tell you. Take a look. This was in my tuna. We're in a magnetic force field. A what? A net of static electricity is surrounding the entire area. Uh -huh. That's why our power is dead. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not going anywhere tonight. The truck and the Jeep are burned out electrically. Damn. What would cause a thing like that? God hates us. There's a very powerful magnetic source somewhere nearby. Oh. It's reversing all positive electrical power. <laughs> you sly boots. Mr. Wyman, how close is the uh, satellite compartment? Who cares? Two, maybe three <laughs> miles. I was just thinking, is it possible that the compartment could be bombarded with electron particles? It could be. It's happened before. In some of the earlier snark farms. That came. Snark farms? <laughs> when the missiles came back to Earth, they were pretty heavily magnetized. But there's a mountain range between us and the compartment. Yeah, well, there doesn't seem to be any logic behind any of this. Well, here's something to complicate things even more. I took these upside down. This is the shot I took when Dave and I first got out there. Look at it closely. No, look at it. Dave, remember I mentioned the strange mud? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, this was the last shot taken. Uh -huh. Most of the mud has disappeared, and the opening is larger. Mm. Yes, I remember that when we took John out of the compartment. But at the time, it didn't seem important. Well, someone or something must have been there. Saw a huge blood-sucking alien, but I didn't think it was important either. Uh, I'm gonna go kill myself again. I don't know why. S Steve? Uh, Steve? Hey, anyone remember Pringles? There's an explanation and a good one for all of this. Elves. There must be. Hold on, I, I guess there's not. Some of the things that have occurred today are without precedent. Ah, oh, just ignore me. <laughs> man in there alive, it should be dead. Hmm. Something that's never happened before. Well, once, but he had the wind at his back. <laughs> We've never sent a man so far into space before. There's so little food and no air. <laughs> well, we're all tired, disappointed. Stupid. We're under a terrible strain. I feel good. After this long, the Cape has probably contacted the Pentagon. It's just a matter of time. What if they can't get through? The magnetic force field works both ways. Okay, so I'm wrong. Well, in the morning, one of us will have to hike down and meet them. As a precautionary measure, I suggest we all stay in this room tonight. I'll lay on Sharon. Dave and I'll take turns <laughs> watching Kukorn. All right. Yeah, you're taller than last year, honey. <laughs> condescend, <Sorry>. condescend. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doctor. I just can't hold it back any longer. I have to overact. <laughs> I wish there was something I could say. I guess I just said that. I'll listen if you like. Girl, you'll be a woman I'm soon. Not looking for someone you love. But this, the unknown, <laughs> being held here. No, I, 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 Alex, I don't. You know, my gown opens from the rear. <gasps> say. Hello. Julie, he alone stood on the threshold of our future. And he peed it down his leg. <laughs> what happened to him today, we may learn more than we've ever known. We've learned not to send Polacks into space. <laughs> Maybe I should just listen. There'll be other Steves. So incongruous. Oh, Mama, that is so sweet. <laughs> but is he dead? Look, let's not make a federal case out of this. You know, the listening thing went over like a lead balloon. Scientists, the more we learn, the more we realize there is to learn. Science? Life itself is the greatest miracle. Well, when we get him to the hospital tomorrow, maybe we'll know. Oh, oh my adenoids. Oh. <laughs> Could you massage my front now? Good night, Doctor. Good night, Joe. Those three little ties in the back slips right off. <laughs> well, I just needed to talk to somebody. I've been a little down. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You need one of these, huh? <laughs>
here comes the nutty part. <laughs> yeah. Easy one. Let's see where it was. Brillig and the slithy toves. Are... Oh, what the hell am I thinking? I don't know. Martha Graham. Who put my sweater in the dryer? <laughs> Sorry. Wait. There's one last piece of carrot cake. I'm going to have it. <laughs> Dave, hmm? what was it? Did you put the blood beast out? Okay, here's something in there. Be very quiet. We're hunting blood beasts. <laughs> Loin chop. Loin chop? No, I, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> huh? Ooh, hoo -hoo, the patient has blown a gasket. <laughs> Hi. We're looking for an honest man. To what? Put some pants on. Yeah, his head's gone. Oh, that's his hinder, Steve. Oh. Yep, it's the dismount that always impales him. Wow. <laughs> to what? You march straight down from there, mister. There's nothing you can do. Unless you know where his face is. Another long scene in here should help. <laughs> Must have taken the body. Whatever it is, it works fast. Provides soothing relief. Let's take him down. You said he could stay up till New Year's, and that means Christmas is over. I forgot to tell him that Rhonda called. <laughs> oh, oh, God, I slipped in his face. Ew. Yeah, I get that a lot. Oh, oh I just blew all over the operating room. Oh. Well, welcome back to the land of the living, mister. Steve. What, me Steve or he Steve? Help him to the table. Let's shoot him back into space and see what happens. <laughs> About hello, hi, anything? Oh. Johnny. Oh, Steve's name is Johnny. Johnny. You're all right. Well, Julie. I don't know. I don't know. I think so. Can I have an Eskimo pie? Where's Dr. Wyman? I hadn't finished his head. <laughs> what happened? Suppose you tell us what happened. Uh, Julie, what happened to Dr. Wyman? He's dead. Thank you, Julie. Hey, wait up. Why are you staring at me? If you don't think that I had anything to do with it. John. AKA We're Steve. just as confused as you are. <laughs> Did you see anything? Was there anybody in the room with you and Dr. Wyman? I don't know. I don't want to hear I don't know, mister. Look, last thing I remember. I was headed for the door. I don't think you might have sent. The jets didn't take hold. When I finally released the drag chute, it didn't hold. Hmm? It was too close to the ground. Mm -hmm. You crashed. Mm -hmm. We brought you here. Yeah. You're so full of it. <laughs> you don't remember. I seem to be floating. Warm black mist. Ah, we gave you a pudding bath. Oh, my head. My achy breaky head. My neck. Have you seen it? Oh, no. Look at that. Say, Mark. I told him not to pick at that. Oh, <laughs> did that thing pop? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's old pizza back. <laughs> uh, see, I got a little nutty with a wood chisel. You think I'm Steve, don't you? <laughs> Tell me what's happening. John, you don't understand. We thought you were dead. And frankly, we're getting pretty used to the idea. Yeah, we sold off your organs. What do you mean, dead? But don't yell at us. <laughs> when we pulled you out of the compartment, your body had completely ceased to function. What do you mean, compartment? A hypometabolistic state. No, no. A type of suspended animation. No, 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 you were dead. Brought on by the contraction of the mesentery blood vessels. That's so in sad. In the pressure change of landing. Oh. That kind of terminology I'd expect it from Dr. Wyman, not from you. You wash your mouth out with soap. Well, it seemed like the natural diagnosis. From Dr. Wyman, yes. In some way, I think Dr. Wyman is influencing me. I think he may be a part of me now. Can you be dead again? <laughs> I don't really think that. I don't understand. 
Give me God to help me! Believe. Help me! Fantastic. It's unbelievable. Things like this just don't happen. This is okay. helping! <laughs> Thank you. Really? <laughs> Thank you. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Afraid not, am I? <laughs> it didn't come here to destroy. Johnny, try to tell us. What didn't come here to destroy us? No more questions. More boobies. <laughs> Well, this one's not as nice. Yes. They're gone. My brownies are gone. I've uh, got to be soon if we need one. What are you talking about? Come see for yourself. You big, dumb, dead guy. Sit down. That's what the like now. Normal in every respect. Four hours ago, it was populated with alien amorphic cell structures. They mean to win Wimbledon. I think we should see what I look like under the fluoroscope. Yeah, that'll kill some time. <laughs> Put a shirt on while you're at it. <laughs> How will it work with the power out? It operates on a radium cathode tube. Oh. <laughs> wow, he's loaded with shrimp. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> The amorphic cell structures have expanded to... Jacksonville! ...using his body for a breeding ground. You're not going to harm them, are you? What do you mean? We don't even know what they are. The one thing we do know is that they're alien to the human body. Young man. Somehow they must have come down with you in the compartment. You're gross. Only a few hours ago they were microscopic. We've got to do something. If you destroy them... ...you destroy me. Steve, don't preach. I'm in trouble deep. You know what? I think I get hush puppies and coleslaw with these. <laughs> you can't destroy them. I'll take care of them. Well, why not? That's why not. Oh, Kramer! I love them! Barney's been in a fire! I love you! You burn me! Steve, don't shoot him up! Steve, don't shoot him There's no way to meet the in-laws! <laughs> Ah, oh boy, you know, you marry the whole family, huh? Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Not the copier! <laughs> My resume was in there. <laughs> hey, look, I'm really sorry. I thought Johnny told you I was dropping by. Oh, oh boy. You can't stop me from seeing my children. Come back here, you varmink! You stupid wall, stupid wall, you <laughs> stupid wall. Come here, you little tramp. When I think of the blood beast's hands all over you. Uh, <laughs> it's burnt, but it got away, didn't it? I don't think go very far. It's gone. It was burnt pretty bad. I think we ought to track it down and make sure it's dead. No, let's wait for help. We can't possibly combat that thing by ourselves. Look, nobody's gotten to us, and no one probably will until it's destroyed. Hmm? Why does it have to be killed? Don't you think he's cute? <laughs> Why are we always so quick to destroy? It's, it's an alien. It's the first of its kind to come to the Earth. Oh. John, you know what it's done to you, breathing its young in your body. You saw what it did to Dr. Wyman. Mm. Isn't that reason enough? It has to be killed. <laughs> I don't understand. It didn't come in malice. Hmm? It could have killed all of you earlier, but it was me it was after. And I loved every minute of it. Come back to, me to, to nourish its young. That's weird, Steve. The more reason to destroy it. Suppose it is still alive. Bullets don't harm it. I got it handled, Steve. The fire seems to. Well, the very pistol has an engulfing flame plus a delayed explosion. Very it's better pistol. than a lead. Very pistol? Hmm? Flare <laughs> gun. At short range, it'll chop down anything. There's some in the cabinet in the hall. I'll get them. Oh, Steve, you can't. Listen, you can't kill a living creature without giving it a chance to justify itself. <laughs> Oh, sorry. The hormones. Let's put him in there. Oh, yeah. Grandma's old room. Well, I'll try to raise them as if they're my very own shrimp. Uh, yeah, just lay them on the ironing board. <laughs> so, Julie, guess he wasn't getting enough at home, huh? <laughs> Julie? <laughs> Can you give him something to keep him quiet? So do you, Mama talk. Good. Or you could just turn on cartoons. I'll leave you here to watch him. Donald, come with us. We're going to need photographic coverage. 
Oh, this is going right in my eye. Will that really keep him out until we get back? I don't know. Under normal circumstances, this should render him unconscious for at least 12 hours. But this isn't a normal person. This is no ordinary Steve. What you and he were to each other has no bearing on what he is now, Julie. Actually, it was pretty lukewarm. <laughs> I'm not worried. He's not dangerous. Not to me, anyway. Except when the Packers lose. <laughs> well, we can't take any chances. That creature loses and comes back here. Look, I'm trying to shoot up. Or if he gives you a bad time. You better know how to use a very pistol. Believe me, Julie, he's not the same man you were engaged to. Here's your Frankenberry pistol. Thanks. Let me have one for Julie, will you? Mm. There you go. That'll do you. Bye. Now, don't worry. If we run into any trouble, we're not going to be heroes. Now, who's Rose? Just pull the hammer back. <laughs> and blow my head off. Just be back as soon as you can. Mm, nope. Hmm. God, this feels great in my hand. I've got to kill something. Don't make any sudden moves, honey bunch. Steve, I need to iron a blouse. Could you sleep somewhere else? You know, he's really not showing that much. <laughs> vice, hey, don't vice. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't find the blood beast, but I see the beast of Yucca Flats. They got this for us a lot healthier than I am. You know, I, I think it's leading us back to the compartment. I hear a birdie. Yeah, it looks that way. How long do you think we've been out? Well, Tom came out last year, and then Steve was going to come my watch is running again. Hmm? Mine's not, you femme. <laughs> Mine, too. That means the magnetic field must be broken. Hmm? It must be dead. So what are we all looking at? We better make certain. If we throw a shower for Steve, can there be egg salad? Look, a lupin. Ah, Blood Beast is doing his laundry. See? Uh-huh. Up there. <laughs> George said if I ever got in trouble to come back here to the place by the creek. <laughs> Cliff has Billy Idol hair. <laughs> Blood Beast! Blood Beast! Bloody. Boy, imagine how much lower we'd be if we were down there. Hello? Wow. Are we camping? Is this camping, you guys? You know, I never went camping. One time we went to North Dakota when I was little to visit Uncle Ron. He had a horse and it stepped on me. I think it was a horse. Um, if we do have a shower, we could probably get stuff that's green or yellow because even if they are boys or girls, they can still use them. And you don't, if aliens even have sex, I don't think they have it because... Well, it seems like the most likely place for it to go. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything. Maybe it's on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you stay here until we're sure it's safe. Dave, you circle to the left, and I'll go to the right. Check. Mm, maybe I should have gotten the purple blouse. I don't know. Stay, Donna. Stay there completely alone. That'll, <laughs> that's best. Uh huh? I had a naughty thought. <laughs> you know, a blood beast can outrun a quarter horse for the first 50 yards. Maybe if they had a blood hound. <laughs> yeah. I got skunked on blood bees, but it's a great day to be out in the woods. Room out. Say what you will about this film, the music's great. Mm. Ooh, the blood bees is making jerk chicken. <laughs> mm. Nothing could possibly live through that. And we know for sure it's in there. Look, it stopped again. Hey, Steve! <laughs> Don't stay there. Stay all alone. Sure, you can use it. <laughs> Sigmund the sea monster's got me! How could he possibly? He couldn't live if he's not in there. Mannix! Double Mannix. <laughs> Our plan is going perfectly. Hey, mister, a little help. Can we have our woman back? Hey, good place to get lucky under there. Last <laughs> one. Oh, baby, I was misnamed. I'm really the love beast. Oh, it's gonna kill her. Fire over its head. You think I'm... Oh, I see. Huh? Huh? 
I regret nothing. <laughs> No, no thanks, I just I was. Don't think so. I could have killed me. But it didn't. Probably would have we hadn't chased it off. Might have wound up like Wyman. Bill Wyman? We better get back. Julie's all alone and the monster may try and contact her corn again. Yeah, let's go. Janie got a gun. Oh, he is showing. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. I can see every contour. Oh, my God. Oh. Make it go away. And God bless Grandma. And please don't let the alien babies eat me in my sleep. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Thanks. Howdy, ma'am. Don't be afraid, Julie. Hey, it's one of those guns that says bang. I'm not going to hurt you. It's just the way my <laughs> pants fit. That wasn't meant for you. That was for the creature or whatever it is. You can call him the creature. It doesn't offend him. Don't stare at me, Julie. And don't look at my area. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry that you look like Andrew McCarthy. If what you say is true and I've been dead... Will I still get calls from Citibank? <laughs> I don't know what this means for us, but I haven't changed in my feeling. I need sexual healing. Julie, we're all afraid of the unknown. You don't understand what's happened to me and... And because there's an unknown being, you want to destroy it. Being? But isn't it possible that what's taking place is for a purpose? Logical positivist. Why not let the creature have a chance to tell us why it's here? But it broke in and attacked us. It killed Dr. Wyman, and it's done this to you. He shrimped you. We had to do something. <laughs> now the others have gone to make sure it's dead. It's not dead, and they won't be able to find it. Hmm? How do you know? Um, stuff. <laughs> Julie, I'm the one who's had the most contact with it. No, duh. Something foreign is inside of me. Alive. I'm filled with scam. If there was any cause for fear, wouldn't I know it? But I'm not afraid. This creature is intelligent. Mm -hmm. It wants something. Well, sir. We've got to give it a chance to communicate with us. Here's your Count Chocula pistol. Did he nibble at your neck like I used to? Did he know all the little things you like? Oh, God, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Whoa, somebody lose a toenail? <laughs> Donna omitted for clarity. We're sending you to stay with relatives until this whole thing blows over. <laughs> See, the sedative didn't work. My bodily reactions aren't those of a normal person. I'm a talent. What happened to the creature? <laughs> Got away. Then it's alive. He told me it would be. Somehow he knew. He's a witch! He seems so sure that it's not evil. This isn't a battle between men and a non-reasoning being. Can't you see it doesn't want to kill for the sake of killing? Hmm? It could have done away with all of us earlier if it wanted to. Until we discovered its fear of fire. Listen. Have good evidence, you when you were out survive. checking the power lines last night, all you had with you was a pistol, which you fired at it with no effect. <laughs> if it had been a wild animal, it would have tried to kill you before moving on. That mole. You count for what happened to Dr. Wyman? He fell against the coffee table. No, I can't. But maybe it could if we give it the chance. Why should we give it a chance? Sorry. It's already committed murder. It's done I, I don't know what to you when it's attacked Donna. Hmm? Look, if you were in a strange place and you were trying to communicate with the inhabitants, but every time you tried, they made a move against you, the only way to break through to them would be to take a hostage. Can't you see that's what it's been doing? It's been acting out of fear and self-preservation. It wants to communicate with us, but it, it doesn't know how. Mm. We've got to give it a chance. What do you have in mind? A sleepover! It's obvious <laughs> the creature keeps coming back to me because part of it is inside of me. Part of him was inside you, yeah. Why not let me lead us to it? In the daylight, in the open. Mm. Mm. Maybe he's got something. Yeah, sea monkeys. When we were out searching for the creature, our watches started running again. Oh, boy. And then when we encountered it, they stopped. On our way back here, they became active again. Yeah. And now everything's dead. Look, you're the only one interested in this, Steve. Now, it's my guess that the magnetic disturbance originated from two different locations. <sighs> well, one from the creature. And one more for the road. And then from you. It might be the only thing that's keeping you alive. Herbal life is keeping him alive. <laughs> if my life has been given back to me, it's for a purpose. Trust me. <clears throat> and we'll learn why. If the creature isn't what you believe it to be and we're forced to kill it, then we have no indication of what will happen to you. 
I know. Let's review. What are we talking about? That's why it's important that the creature make itself known before we take any action. <laughs> All right. Ding. But if we follow Johnny's plan, we still have to be prepared. Mm -hmm. We have no way of knowing what can happen to us. Mm -hmm. I felt a kick. Remember, we've agreed to give the creature every opportunity to prove itself. In the morning, we still agree to follow Johnny's plan. We'll get an early start. Mm -hmm. By that time, maybe help will arrive. Dave and I will stand guard. The rest of you get as much sleep as you can. Will it come back here tonight? Well, we didn't have a date, but he stops by most evenings. I don't know. Okay, and the plan is... <laughs> So, uh, why a trapeze? I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm going to go get a live well for my babies, all right? <laughs> At least this is better than Junior. <laughs> and the Yes, it was. Yeah, now Crow will just do the blessing. Crow? It must have slipped out during the hymn. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tell you, he's been on me since I walked through the door. A bounder. I'd turn him into a cyst if it wasn't dinner. Hey, Satan, pass the potatoes. Oh, and cut my meat for me, will you? And I must have thrown up 24 times in the car alone. <laughs> anyway, that's how I got neutered. You want to see the scar? No, 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 that's all right. Well, I suppose I got to get this thing rolling. All right, before we begin, why don't we go around the table and each give a little thanks to God. No offense, Satan. I'm taken. All righty then. Lord, I'd like to thank you for my health, the occasional good massage. Oh, and my son, I guess. Lord, please accept him, though you have seen fit to smite him with so many flaws and failures. Thank you, Mother. Um, me, I'm uh, thankful for uh, my mom, uh, uh, my evilness, my pending world domination. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, and uh, my friends, who will be leaving immediately after the meal. Well, personally, I'm just thankful no one discovered Let's just say, keep away from the chickpeas. <laughs> oh, uh, bless us, O oh Lord, these my gifts, for we are about to recede um, over and out, uh, stuffing instead of potatoes. What do you got, Satan? Oh, well, I, I guess I'm most thankful for my new clients, the cast of Friends, and special thanks to Mike Ovitz for mm. finally throwing in with me, mm -hmm. and most of all, Pat Buchanan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess I'm most thankful for... The spirit of music is... Shut up! Ah, you tell them, honey. Uh, okay, uh, listen up, everybody. Okay, okay, I have um, another announcement. Me and uh, Mr. B Natural and myself are going to be engaged. Isn't that right, honey? Okay, and uh, one more thing. I'm going to go uh, uh, drive the bus, uh, if you know what I mean. Okay. <clears throat> I move we skip to the meal. I second. Well, mm -hmm. what the hell are we waiting for? Let's eat. <laughs> oh, anyway, I trusted that Eagle Scout and he let me down. Steve. What is it, Steve? I'm a little worried about Johnny's plan. So much. Hard to trust a guy not named Steve. I don't know if it's responsible for his actions. And he's putting on too much weight. I think it might be a trap. If it is, this time we're going to be prepared. Come on. I think Johnny's lying about the babies and just wants the alien to marry him. Mm -hmm. Bread and butter pickles? How about a Molotov cocktail? Well, it's pretty early. I mean, we fill it with gasoline and then use it as a hand grenade. That's a ticket. Hand grenade? We could saturate the creature and detonate it with a very pistol. Mm -hmm. There's no way it could escape then. Yeah, nothing could live through that. <laughs> so, what do you think? Huh? How many bombs are we going to make? Well, between us, we ought to be able to carry about six. My God, you are mad. <laughs> what are we going to do with the girls? Mm -hmm. Take them with us. But I'm leaving them here unprotected. I can carry three. That's <laughs> enough. Are we going to tell Julie and Donna about this? Uh, I think we better make sure Johnny doesn't find out, huh? Yeah, let's keep it between us, Steve's. 
You ever seen any of these work before? King Oscar fish balls? Yeah. Bought a canal. You bought a canal? Gorilla tank was running wild behind our lines. Oh. He knew we couldn't do any much damage with our rifles, so he was playing kind of a cat and mouse game. So he knew he could finish us off. God, you paint a picture. <laughs> Not far from where we were, there was a truck overturned, and I kid in it saw what was happening. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Got the brilliant idea to bring me some gasoline and I made up some of these. Oh, well, the guys really liked them. That tank came by. We smeared it, but good. Anyway, what was your question? I... Pretty horrible to see, but it worked. Then there was the year I fainted before the talent contest. Well, be good for me to get off of this mountain. Mm -hmm. Even with these cocktails, I'm not anxious to tangle with that creature again. Well, none of us are, but I don't think we have any choice. Mm -hmm. Came down the satellite. It's our responsibility. Mm -hmm. Besides, it's better to stalk it and have it come after us. Yeah, that's my dating policy. Yeah, you're probably right. And so I wish we could wait for some help. I just don't like the idea of taking Julie and Donna with us. Well, I don't either. Mm -hmm. Then we don't know when help will arrive. We can't leave them alone. Can't live without them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Dr. Wyman's going to need the chin-up bar. So NASA has one fully equipped hospital room. Jeez, look at this clown. Come on. Hey, weirdo. Hey, freak. How are the shrimps? Weirdo. Freak boy. What are you doing with Dr. Wyman's body? Hey, I'm not into that. I had to see how he was killed. Yeah. Half his head gone. It's horrible. I don't expect you to trust me. I don't even know whether I can trust myself. Johnny! Honey! Please don't oh. treat me like a monster. I haven't done anything wrong. John, it's not a question of right or wrong. Maybe you're not responsible for your actions. Whether you are or not, who knows what you might do. You're a woman in love. John, don't you, don't you realize this unknown creature is using your body as a breeding ground? We don't know what to expect. He didn't use me. I gave of myself freely. I can't deny anything you've said. But you're a big, fat liar. I do receive <laughs> impulses from the creature, but I know I have free will. I, I can still have a career. I know I can still make my own decisions. Was it your own free will or the creature's? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I was thinking about the nursery. What? I'm not sure. But I do know that we have to give it a chance to explain. Come on, we're losing daylight. I'll be in the car. <laughs> daylight will be here in about three hours. Gotta get some rest. Especially you, young lady. You got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> Stay here for a while. I'll work on my wedding dress. I'll get the bags. This guy is way over the edge. Oh. All right. You will give it a chance to explain. <laughs> we'll give it a chance. Yeah, kablooey, okay? He's <laughs> <laughs> once, twice, three times a blood beast. Yeah, the blood beast got mad and spun shitties on the lawn. Hey, beast, honey, are we still going bowling? Blood? <laughs> Forgot they're Mrs. Butterworths. The blood beast has been drinking, and before our wedding night... <gasps> ah, this is where the movie really swings in a high now. Uh -huh. Here we go. <laughs> oh, nice shot. Uh, if we could just... Cl well, there's something in the way. I can't figure out what it is. Uh, oh... Sorry, guys. I parked my Camaro here somewhere. I don't know. It's a beautiful day for a wedding, but why are they meeting the priest out here? I don't, don't think that... The... Okay, bride side or blood beast side? The creature isn't far away. Hmm? There's some hills to the north. And a cave. I'm seeing the color orange. And someone is thinking of the number 12. But he's never been in this area before. How does he know there's a cave? I refuse to answer that. Uh, by the way, anybody lock up the space building? Oh, I'm I'm seeing a wool pantsuit, and someone is hungry for a frosted item. <laughs> I don't... If the name says Corman, there's going to be walking. Yep. Oh, and there's a rock with a big hill. No, no, you must learn how to walk, Hobbs. Come on, with the knees. With the, with the knees. There, yes. Right. 
Oh, this is the spot where Blood Beast first told me he liked me. Carry me. Shut up. Carry me. Shut up. Carry me. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, we have to flap our wings and fly from here. So dramatic. Uh, you know, I haven't picked up any impulses for about an hour now. <laughs> Well, maybe they weren't really impulses. Perhaps they were just notions. Whoa, more undercupping. Yep, I see it. Yep. Undercupping. Undercupping. Cup, cup, cup. Cup. <laughs> Everyone, I have an impulse to wander like we're lost. Uh. <laughs> oh, blood beast scat. Careful. Maybe he was just picking up a CB radio. Well, we could just go to... Midvale Mini Putt. I'm supposed to meet him there tonight. <laughs> huh? Ow, my pants. Ow, oh, both my pants. Mm. It's in there. What? Oh. Julie, Donna? Go check that out. Stay there. <laughs> There's nothing to fear. We're not going to take any unnecessary chances. The girls will wait here. Okay, you lead the way. You're going to give it a chance. <laughs> You're not going to kill it. You're not going to kill it! Elaine! What happened? Why did you let him go? I couldn't stop him. Yeah, he thinks he's idle Lupino again. He's all wigged out. <laughs> Blood! Sweetie! They're going to kill you! I brought them to you. Hmm? They don't understand. I'm not sure I do. How can I help you to communicate with them? <laughs> Now I am able to speak by assimilation, a form of photosynthesis. I have been able to incorporate certain of Dr. Wyman's functional processes. He turned out to be very boring. Is Dr. Wyman's death necessary? Through his sacrifice, I can communicate, understand your reasoning, your motivations, your way of life. Sweetheart. I will need your help. Together we must make them understand that I have not harmed you. And we will give them a better way of life. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. But anyway, now I'm hiding in here because the dogs keep burying me and digging me up. <laughs> so anyway, then I transferred to junior college. They had better space life program over there. And it, uh... Look! Here comes the bride. Listen! Please listen! Do not be afraid. <laughs> I am not here to harm you. I just want to kill you. Too far away. Let's move in. Uh, in our country, it's custom to throw gasoline on the new couple. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm? Oh, the ceremony's about to begin. I love weddings. My nails aren't dry. Do not be afraid. <laughs> That's that? Dr. Wyman's voice. <laughs> it is his voice. But how? Yes, I am using Dr. Wyman's voice. I've got a little problem with the reverb, though. <laughs> I'm also using his car and his apartment in town. I have been able to master the use of many of his faculties. <laughs> with his voice, I am able to communicate with you. Yeah, yeah. You killed him! He's huh? not dead. <laughs> not dead. He has gained something more than life as you know it. <laughs> He's the first of your kind to attain immortality. Immortality? Uh, wait, I mean death. I'm not interested in that kind of immortality. <laughs> I know you want to destroy me, but listen. Please listen. I only want to help you. Millions of years ago, my people inhabited a planet such as yours. We discovered the ultimate power. Radar! Just as you on Earth are about to do. You ready to make your move? We should have put this power to our own benefit. Oh, Instead, hatred, greed, and prejudice caused us to misuse that power. Mm. Yeah. And it brought about our own destruction. We've been talking. Now's our chance. But you can't risk killing Johnny. No, wait. What harm is there in hearing them out? <laughs> for centuries, we have been circling your Earth, okay, okay. waiting for a means to penetrate your atmosphere. <laughs> your projectile is the first to present a means of entry. Those before were not retractable. Yeah, of course, and they fell back to Earth. <laughs> I am the first to come to death and destruction. Hmm? What you say is true. What are we to expect? You need me. You need me. And I have come. <laughs> Through me, we will unite our intellect within one body. Oh, man. It's insane. 
And how do you plan to do that? Already it has begun. Begun. Within the hour, the first of our new generation will be born. What? It's true. I'm dilated to four. I can feel them inside. Get the cocktail sauce. You're imposing your will on this. No, no, honey, not now. You're I can't. sacrificing our can't. civilization for the resurrection of your own. In the car, honey. I've been a fool. You've been a beautiful fool. The only way you can be saved from your downfall is by our sacrifice. What you propose is dominance. Oh, please. It's not salvation. <laughs> it's not I'll be governed by fear. Go ahead and kill me. Hmm? You've already said I'm dead. Okay. Dead man with a brain and a body kept alive artificially to, to feed a generation of monsters. That's not true. Uh, if you don't kill me, <laughs> a hmm? new civilization is inside of me. Oh, well, a tiny civilization. Destroy <laughs> mankind as we know it today. The future of our race is in you. They wrote their own vows, you know. Mm. Ah, it's beautiful. You've got to kill me. We have to destroy it. You can do it. God! <laughs> Run! Get away from it! Oh. It's Operation Rescue! Only man can become a greater being in future generations to come. Generations? Don't kill me! You big dopes! Destroy <laughs> me or destroy your only hope for mankind. You proved you'd let me go. <laughs> you know, that's how it began. <laughs> You've got to kill me! I'm having hot enough time. <laughs> Am I gonna do everything myself? No, oh, oh boy! Oh, oh, ow, ow, wow! Oh, eat! <laughs> oh boy! Oh. Uh, you can't throw jars of rice. <laughs> My corduroys. Jeez. <laughs> he hates that rock. <laughs> ah, save your own damn planet. <laughs> the St. Louis Parrot's mascot was burned to death today. You are not ready. <laughs> we will still save you. Save In your quest for self-destruction, you will send up more satellites. Satellites. And we will be there. Wait, you come again! In the meantime, I'll just roast. <laughs> mm, bet it smells like chicken. Yep. Mm. I wanted to be an aunt. <laughs> Here I come too. Whoa! Whew. Still got a hold of a wet blood <laughs> beast. Whoa! Now these Lutheran weddings are so short. Should we split Johnny open and scoop out the row? I think that would be it. No. Made the right decision. Well, there's good arguments on both sides. John made the decision. Mm. Let's hope it was the right one. We'll probably never know. Mm. Yep. Just what it is, we'll never know. We'll never know. Should we get Johnny or not? <laughs> Why shrimp where you work or play? Okay, so uh, what was the point again? I don't. I How did he get <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Sparkles, what kind of pie do you want? Uh, mince meat or pumpkin? Mince meat, Michael? Mince meat? Oh. Our studies show, Mike, that there is no meat in this so called meat filled pie. Servo, can bite if you please. I am mince meat. I invade your inland waterways, choking off marine life. I move silently, attaching myself to pleasure craft. I am mince meat. I am visited upon you. <laughs> I hide in the curtains and I sleep in your hat and I take on the dreams of the ones that have slept there. And nobody takes anything small into a bar around here. Oh my God. Behold, yep. Powerful theater, isn't it, Mike? Deceiver. No, Tell no, no. Lies. Look, something's Despair happening on a deep 13. Oh my gosh. What's happened? Mother, this is your doing, isn't it? Oh, now, Clayton. Mother? Well, I saw that you were really so very unhappy, and I remembered how that old recipe of mine always brought a smile to your face. Oh, turkey surprise. Cook turkey at 200 degrees for one hour. Let's stand, then rub it with a turtle. Oh, mother. Well, it's clear that you can't function without me, dear. I'll be staying. Mother? Forever. Mother? Anyway, that's how I got into the business. Hey, hello. There they are, the ravishing Mother Forrester and that delightful man about madness, Dr. Clayton Forrester. Oh, <laughs> may I say very sincerely that I think Thanksgiving is the most delightful holiday of all because we get to say thank you. And so, thank you, Pearl. Thank you. 
Thank you, Dr. Forrester, and, and thank you, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Mother, would you like to kill him or shall oh, I? Oh, you go right ahead, dear. Okay. This one's yours. <laughs> Isn't good. 